Tonight, it's a record that no one wanted to see broken. Maricopa County saw nearly 8,000 eviction filings in October, the highest for a single month this century. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. For 12 News at 10, I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Jonathan McCall in tonight for Marg. This all comes as the Arizona Department of Housing reports a severe housing shortage. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly has been tracking the numbers each and every month and Chase, this came as a sh absolutely no shock to anyone. They don't expect it to slow down anytime soon, but while we are seeing this record number, it's important to point out that doesn't necessarily mean thousands of people no longer have a home. Now more than ever, renters in Maricopa County are facing possible eviction. I was not surprised. Judge Anna Huberman has seen these filings steadily go up with rent increases being the main culprit. Because they are living paycheck to paycheck. That falls in line with data showing landlords getting bigger judgments from tenants, averaging $3,100 this year compared to $1,800 10 years ago. But not everyone who has an eviction filed against them gets kicked out. About a third of them, we end up signing the writ of restitution, which is the order for the constable to remove them. Still, organizations that help those who have lost a home say they are operating at capacity and have long waiting lists. Our phones are ringing off the hook. Ted Taylor, the CEO of Family Promise of Greater Phoenix, said not only are more families not able to afford rent, it's getting to the point where they can't even afford to move. We think it's becoming a real problem in this valley. This is an industry that's predicated on housing people, not evicting people. David Leibowitz is the spokesman for the Arizona Multi-Housing Authority that represents thousands of property owners and management companies. He claims the data isn't as bad as people are making it out to be because of population growth and cost of living increases, which he says is also why rent is going up. This is not a situation where people are sitting around going, let's get rich. He also said people who are facing eviction need to speak with their landlord immediately to work something out. But when asked if he thinks there is a renting crisis in Arizona. We have a housing supply crisis. We're short 300,000 homes for the number of people who live here and continue to move here. We need to build homes faster. Others like Taylor don't see it that way. It is not going to be solved by building right now. It's not. There's just no volume capable of doing that. While that is a solution, it's not one that will fix any problems immediately. Now, another issue the courts and organizations are concerned about is federal funds allocated for rental assistance. They say that they're starting to run dry. And once that happens, these numbers are expected to go up even higher. We're live in the Alert Center. Chase Colightly, 12 News. All 